If your kids or grandkids asked for another video game for Christmas this year, we've got some different ideas today that are so good they'll forget all about those gaming systems, at least for a little bit. Well, welcome Melanie Hempy with Families Managing Media. She's here to tell us to aim high. How you doing? Hi. Well, hi, it's great to see you. <laughs> right, see you you want to talk about some non-tech gift yes. ideas. First off, why is it so important, Melanie, to break away from all the screen time that our kids are having? Well, because our research tells us that one in eight kids are addicted to their screens. Mm -hmm. One in eight. I'm su actually surprised it's it, not higher, to well, be honest Well, I with personally you. think it's a little bit yeah. higher. And to their phones, Colleen, a lot more addicted to their phones. So please don't get your child a phone for Christmas. <laughs> Please well, don't need any more screens. Right, if you go to her website too, you'll see a lot more reasons. You can yes. find all of all of that stuff online, ironically, but you can see the research and, right. and really understand what's happening. Okay, so you've got some different ideas. Mm -hmm. for right, because a lot of people say, okay, well if they're not on their screen, then what are they gonna do? Yes. Mommy, I don't know what my kids can do. So yes. these are some of our favorites and, and these are our real toys. We call them real toys. Okay. So we're and gonna said to think in three categories. Three categories. What are those categories. We want to attach our children to our families, right? Okay. Attachment is huge and, and screens are very isolating. So you want mm -hmm. to do things that you can attach your children to your family. Like board games, things like board that? Board games. Um, we've, we've got board games. There's old board games, new board games. This is wonderful. All the vintage ones. Puzzles. Keeping a family puzzle out is is so fun because you can sit down and everybody talks. You know, all of a sudden when you're doing a puzzle, everybody starts talking. Wow, it's great. <laughs> Banana grams is great. Bingo is always really good for all ages. Yeah. The other attachment toy, it's not a toy, it's a scrapbook. Make a scrapbook for your kids. They will love this more than their screens. Mm. All their pictures are on that screen now, right? So okay. we don't even see our screens anymore. Attachment, okay. So mm. attachment. The other category you want us to think about, imagination, gifts that require imagination. Right, and one really good idea one of our moms had was to get a Lego set that you use only at Christmas. So, you know, Christmas morning, calling after everybody opens their stuff and then they're bored. They're, like, what do they how do? does that happen? Yeah. Yep. So, so you want to have them something to do that you, they only do this on Christmas. And then it's the Christmas Lego house, maybe, oh, or something. Cute. Okay. So they just do it Christmas. Um, cameras are really good. Cameras don't have to always be on your phone, right? <laughs> right? Uh <-huh. laughs> and if your child is older, get them started with a new hobby. Um, a real camera where they have to learn f-stop and focal length and shutter speed and mm -hmm. have to really think a little bit harder about that. I keep these little games in my purse, you know, just to have little things for their stocking and then also when you're out of the dentist office so they don't have to go to a screen, they can pull out a little game, a little pocket screen. So that's so imagination. Attachment, attachment, imagination. And then movement is the big, movement. big thing because screens are very um, sedentary and they're not moving yes. enough and we all are not moving enough, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So um, this, here, Eugene, here, you grab a ping pong ball. This is a very simple idea, and it's just a box of ping pong balls. And let me tell you, they don't break your lamps in your house. <laughs> so you can play, your kids can play ping pong balls. They don't have to have a ping pong table, even though that's good, but they don't have to. Now, Eugene's going to try to bounce this 100 times. We're going to see how good he is at uh -huh. that. Um, hey, what about just a football, a new football? Because the other one's all gross and lost in the bushes somewhere, right? <laughs> right. This, these little games, I'm just so surprised how popular these are. We have a hockey table game and this is a baseball game. Oh nice. And, yeah and so you can play real baseball you know in in the house but with your friends where you're talking and you're not just looking at a screen where you're right. actually interacting with other kids we have this kind of these kinds so of things fun. we play that at yeah. the beach every year yeah right right and then the cornhole and all that yes um music get your kid a musical instrument maybe some lessons give them something they can start that sounds like something right away like a guitar they can start with that um the basketball hoops we have basketball hoops in our driveway over all of our um doorways mm -hmm. and they will pick that up and start playing basketball mm -hmm. instead of always choosing mm -hmm. the screen. Mm -hmm. Me and my brothers, we would take those uh, blue things and we would right, hit you right in here, the back like, of the head with these. Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah, really? these right, these things right here? <laughs> Colleen, these are deadly right here. This is like, I'm taking these and I'm hitting my brother right okay. in the back of the head yes, with okay. them. Okay, oh, violence. Oh, my oh, bad. More on that good, tomorrow. Good. Oh, my bad. You have some, you've got some workshops coming up, right? Yes, we have some workshops, Kids, Brains, and Screens, and it's a three-part workshop, and they're coming up this winter, so look on our website for that, where we will help parents understand the 
brain science behind screen use because once you understand that it really helps you manage it a lot better you families really managing media.com families managing media.com go there for more information also Melanie quickly wanted me to mention this book the teenage brain you say it is great the teenage wonderful brain. it's brand new it's wonderful written by a mom who's a neuroscientist and then um, this book reset your child's brain if you're having some problems mm -hmm. in your home with very video good Melanie games. thank you so much again families okay. managing media.com we appreciate your time okay. great idea